All right, so today's daily bread will be coming from Psalms 40. And hopefully I don't have to take too long and I can go to Psalm 41 and finish the first book of Psalm. And yes, I'm excited. Um, I'm having a day and that's all right. Um, baby. <laughs> so um, I just needed to get the word in and why not? So I'm pulled over, I'm in my car, that's okay. If you can hear me, bear with me. If you got a Bible with you, read with me. If you don't, hey, I got you. Faith cometh by hearing, okay? So we'll just start. I, want, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a, a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud nor such as turned aside to lies. That has been the thing all day. Um, uh, pride, like pride has been a thing all day. Like for real, seriously. I don't know. Um, that's been a thing. I've been seeing a lot of people struggling with that one today. Um, Many, O oh Lord, my God, are you wonderful works, are your wonderful works, which you have done, and your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I could declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened burnt offering and sent offerings you did not require then i said behold i come in the scroll of the, of the book it is written for me i delight to do your will oh my god and your law is within my heart yeah i know the law starts with the ten commandments right <laughs> starts there it starts there the law starts with the Ten Commandments, and that is something we all have trouble with. Um, my advice, because I had to look at it the same way too, go back and start with the very first one. Start with the first one, and go down the list, and you'll see what you actually kept in your heart, what you said out your mouth and didn't keep in your heart, what you thought about but still did what you wanted to do, and work on those things because grace is sufficient there's no condemnation in the lord jesus christ so no shame okay we all fall short to the glory of god like no shame like just take a step back and reevaluate yourself and get your heart posture together with god it's simple it's simple it can be that simple that's just just the initial um choice to make i have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly indeed i do not restrain my lips O oh lord you yourself know i have not hidden your righteousness within my heart i have declared your faithfulness and your salvation i have not concealed your long your loving kindness and your truth for the great assembly do not withhold your tender mercies from me O lord let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me yes lord please keep your hand on me pretty please that's because i'm there too with it like i i tried my best to do my part so please please help your child out help your daughter out for innumerable 
evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore, my heart fails me. Mm. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backwards and brought to dishonor who wish it who wish me evil. Let them be conformed because of their shame. Who you say to me, aha, uh, no, ah, uh, uh, mm -hmm. let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually the lord be magnified but i am poor and needy yet the lord thinks upon me you are my help and my deliverer do not delay oh my god Like this is letting like the way it resonates with me Psalm 40 it's like I have faith even in my trials but God are you are you listening I've done my part I, I, I've obeyed the laws. I've kept the commandments. But even even then, because I have messed up, I have fallen short. I have I have had to get down and repent my own self. Do you still hear me? Are you still going to work on my behalf? Are you still going to move these uh, stumbling blocks out of the way? You know, um, and that right there gets your faith shaky when you when you do all you can do and you're unsure if you're being heard yes the lord hears you yes he's listening yes he's right there no he's not gonna forsaken you no he's not just looking like um uh, look at <laughs> no he's speaking it's on us because we won't be using these we won't be using those but we'd be ready to say, God, those that are afflicting me, get them out of the way. Oh, this situation, move this mountain. But we we don't listen to the instructions because he tells us what we need to do for that to happen. It's almost like knowing the laws. When you, when you start learning the law, you start to realize it come with instructions very much so like the natural laws of the land there's a law put in place and there's instructions to follow how to follow those laws how to apply those laws to your everyday life and in how you move around here it's the same way in spirit just a bit more dra a bit more drastic and dramatic like you don't want to mess with them don't want to mess those up uh. I'm gonna go ahead and get um, number uh, song 41 out the way. The blessing and suffering of the godly. And some people think, you know, living a godly life, everything's supposed to be peaches and cream, okay? And I tell you right now, it come with it. And you gotta be ready for it. Cause it's every, every day, every minute, every hour, every week. There's going to be a lesson, and that lesson gonna come with a pop quiz, and that pop after that pop quiz gonna come a test. Okay? It's just like just like school. Like we gotta be on our be on it. Blessed is he who considered the poor, considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. 
There go a nugget right there, y'all. Blessed are those that consider the poor. You know, all the homeless people that you walk past that's outside at the gas station or at the grocery store and you and your big bank account walk straight past them. You don't consider them. You try to ignore that they spoke to you. That, that's how you reap blessing. Or that's how you don't reap blessing. You pick. And that is Psalm 41. And the, the, the blessing of that, uh, considering the poor, is the Lord will deliver you in time of trouble. So think of how much trouble you begin into. Go back and think about how many poor folks you be ignoring. Kind of will make you start to move a different way. Like, if, okay, if I stop and do better with those that are less fortunate than me, I will see less trouble in my life. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. That means him days won't be shortened for you okay and he will be blessed on the earth you will not deliver him to the will of his enemies the lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness you will sustain him on his sick bed i said lord be merciful to me Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When will he die? And his name perish. <laughs> and if he comes to see me, he speaks lies. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. Against me they devise my hurt. And evil disease, they say, clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise, and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are well pleased with me, because of my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. 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 And sometimes people don't realize how they do you. They don't realize how they do you. You just be out here trying to be good to folks. And folks just don't think that they, you know, that they could just do how they please, be how they please. And not knowing, yes, God is watching and God is going to move on their behalf. And he is going to allow certain things to come about, you know, but these are things you brought upon yourself. So on today, y'all, um, I'm going to just watch how I do, how I treat people and how I move and take a step back and, and, and think about the things first. You know what I mean? Like, it might not be much. It might be 65 cent. Get it to them. Cause you got a, a debit card. Or you could go in there and swipe your card and go get them a bottle of water. Cause it will be hot outside. Come on now, the weather's switching up. You know, or even if it's those that um, said something nasty about you. Pray for them. If that's all you can do, don't turn back around and try to do the very same things that they're doing back to you, back to them. That doesn't fix the situation. Doesn't help. 
So um, on today, I'm just gonna reflect on this word and um, and I'll do a little self check and make sure you know Solana not slipping in the cracks with other people. It was Psalm 41 5 and um, 6 for me. 5 was my enemies speak evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? I, I don't walk around saying, okay, God, all right, you saw that, you heard that. When is they time up? How much how much time they got left? Because they know not to, they, they they should know who they talking about and coming against. They is going to start falling off. No, I don't walk around like that. And I don't advise y'all to walk around like that. But it's evident, you know, um, God does take the take time off of those type of people. People that walk around with that type of heart, it does hinder them. They don't may not see it, but it does over time. It takes time away. It takes days off your life when you ain't moving right on the behalf of other people. So be careful how you're doing people today. And be mindful of those that are coming against you. How to handle those situations in a godly manner. Just to have the heart of God in those situations. Worry about yourself. Have self-control. That's the fruit of the Holy Spirit self-control they can do let them be how they're gonna be but don't conform to them don't stoop down to them don't do not it's not worth it it's not worth it especially when you know what comes with what don't don't even do it to yourself but i, I don't want to be for you all too long too much longer i'm gonna bounce back and get to walk and I need to get up and walk this stomach a little bit we're kind of tight right now I'm get out this car y'all have a happy and a blessed Saturday